Okay, uh, just wanted to show everyone sort of the after uh, photos and you know um, close-ups of, of the same zebra printer that we showed earlier uh, after it's been thoroughly cleaned. I uh, just want to kind of give you guys a quick overview of what we used. Uh, first of all, we used isopropyl alcohol on really any part of the printer. Obviously, you know, not on the inside circuit boards, but um, you can use that on the print head pretty liberally, you know, with a like a cotton type of a rag. Um, uh, Goo Gone is very good for uh, loosening up adhesive on a lot of parts of the printer. Um, we don't recommend using that on the print head itself. Uh, which is, you know, this part right in here because that's a little sensitive. Uh, but you can use that really on all the um, other parts. The uh, Mostly we use it on the plastic rollers and on the metal parts for loosening up uh, adhesive. Um, and, and, of course, uh, some standard Q-tips are great for getting, you know, some of these solutions into some areas that you can't reach with the rag. So uh, especially around the sensors, right, because you've you got to keep the sensors clean. Um, and in some cases, if we needed to, we took the rags and we wrapped it over a screwdriver to kind of get into some, you know, nooks and crannies on the machine to kind of make sure we get, got it clean. Uh, we used rubber gloves uh, when we're using the Goo Gone just because it, it's a fairly strong uh, chemical and it's probably not good to get it in contact with your skin too much. But you can see some of the dirt we removed from the machine. Um, so to kind of give you a feel for like that same machine that we just showed earlier, uh, here's what it looks like now. Um, the rollers are all nice and cleaned up, uh, free of any label material that's been stuck on there. The ribbon residue has been removed off the ribbon take-up spindle. Uh, we've serviced and changed out the platen roller. So you see we got a nice, clean, bright-looking platen roller to, as the main drive of the machine. We clean the lower platen roller. You can see that roller's a, kind of seen better days, but you know, again, the uh, under for a rewinder option, uh, it 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 can be you know used a lot longer and can be in tough shape because all it has to do is rewind labels. It doesn't have to actually drive uh, and and be involved in the quality of the printing on the machine. So uh, the interior of the machine, everything looking kind of bright and clean now. No label residue and you know pieces of labels stuck throughout the machine um, and most importantly we really kind of got into the label path right because it, the you know the path that the labels follow you know when they go down through the machine above this plate um, under this roller um, and then in this little area here which is kind of tough to get at. We use Q-tips in there a lot uh, to get in. That's where a lot of labels get stuck sometimes. Um, you want to keep that free of adhesive because, again, adhesive buildup in these areas, what's that going to do? That's just going to catch more label material and cause even more jamming, which then adds more adhesive, right? So get the, that label path as clean as you can and free of adhesive buildup. So I just wanted to show you the same machine that we just showed earlier you know, after it's had a good thorough cleaning. Uh, this is going to give you much better performance for the printer, better quality print, and longer life uh, for your print heads and for the machine. Just thought I'd show you the after video. Take care. Take care of your zebra.